My name is Isaac O'Neill. I'm from Ireland originally, but have an American accent due to American imperialism. I'm a part-time gelato scooper and a full-time struggling actor. And when I was in secondary school, getting rejected by a girl was called getting Isaac'd. My hobbies include making small plasticine dolls of myself, which I later animate, skateboarding at an intermediate level to try and impress women, and fighting the invisible ghouls and goblins that live in my back garden. My friends include, but are not limited to, Tara, Shauna, Dylan, Kieran, Reese, and occasionally, Sophia. Unfortunately, due to the housing crisis, I still live with my parents in the small seaside town of Bray, with such attractions as my place of work, my previous place of work. They fired me. Bray Seafront, Bray's only real tourist attraction. It has a consistent stream of lost souls walking up and down it. I sometimes wonder where they're going, but honestly, I'm not sure they know either. Excuse me, sir. Where are you off to today? To. Yeah, he's going. It's on a journey. Off to today. That direction as well. You're just heading that direction. That's what people do. Excuse me, sir. Uh, where are you going today? My life is a, it's a constant stream of one rejection after another, really. If I'm being honest, but um, that's okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm Italian. That's perfect. My yeah. best today. Sorry. Where are you off to today? Uh, today. Today. Where, where where are you going? Around. This is Bray's Town Hall. You may notice it is also a McDonald's. Twistedfood.co.uk rated Bray's McDonald's as the nicest McDonald's in the world. Being a local, it seemed only fair that I review it as well. It's mid. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably we'll, we'll start in a, in a second. This is one of the 45A's many bus stops. It's a consistent argument in Dublin. Which bus is exactly the worst? I'd argue it's the 45A. It's consistently forgotten about in this debate due to the fact that it never actually has been seen by anyone. Additionally, here are some other businesses that refuse to hire me. Bray has some of the most beautiful views known to man, but this does not concern me. I personally much prefer the damp, miserable life that comes with the city. The city's atmosphere is unmatched. For proof, here is a video of Florence Pugh. This is her in the city. There's Shona. This intense love for the city means that I spend most of my time on a bus, a Darge, another bus, getting a lift from a friend, or another bus. It may sound like I'm being dramatic, but I easily spend three hours on buses some days. It's all worth it in the end to simply exist in town. Some days I just skateboard around aimlessly until I bump into someone I know. And during the night time, me and my friends congregate in one of the most vile and wretched places known to man. The Workmen's Club. <laughs> Workmen's is the perfect place for untruthful conversations. No one goes there to be themselves. And if they did, no one would listen. This being said, at this present moment, it is my favorite place to hang out and you are guaranteed to have one of the best or worst nights of your life there. The only problem, of course, being everyone who goes there is a horrible person, and will be, until the day that they die. Okay, hold still. I'm very still. Hold still. I'm incredible. To fund these joyful misadventures, I must venture back to my job in Bray. To kill time and work, I often feed the birds. I also sometimes do my job. During my time in Gino's Gelato, I found one song in the work playlist that I actually enjoyed. This song being Something Stupid by Frank Sinatra, an incredibly romantic song about unrequited love. To avoid copyright issues, I'll sing it now instead of playing it. I know I stand in line before you think you have the time to spend an evening with me. 
And if we Upon learning this song was sung by Sinatra and his daughter, it was clear to me that I had no reason to continue working there. So I did what any rationally minded individual would do. I gave myself employee of the month and left forever. At the start of the month, I started recording this documentary as a slice of life piece. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with it, but I wanted to make it. Unfortunately, my month didn't follow much of a narrative structure, so I've gotten to the end of it, and I'm struggling to come up with a conclusion, to find meaning. So instead, I'm going to make this... Isaac O'Neill, Life in Review. A review of my life. Isaac O'Neill, by Isaac O'Neill. I decided to go through my life logically, and rate it out of five stars. By the end of this month, I'm unemployed, still live with my parents, and generally quite a lonely person. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification, the notification bell, whatever that means. Um, three stars. Three stars.